Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs Horrell here. Today I'm going to read you a lovely book called Kiss Goodnight Sam. It's a really nice book for your grown-up to read you when you're settling down for your bedtime. It was a dark and stormy night on Plum Street. In the little white house, Mrs Bear was putting Sam to bed. Ready now, Sam? Oh no, said Sam. I'm waiting. Mrs Bear sat on the bed beside Sam and they read his favourite book and they both knew all the words. Afterwards, Mrs Bear pulled one side of the blanket way up high under Sam's chin and the blanket was red. She pulled the other side too, tucking it under his toes like a nest. Outside the wind blew, roo, roo. Ready now, Sam? Oh no, said Sam. I'm waiting. Mrs Bear arranged Sam's friends in the bed and they all snuggled close in the blanket that was red. Outside the rain came down. Splat! On the roof. Splat! Splat! On the windows. The wind blew. Roo! Roo! Ready now, Sam? Oh no, said Sam. I'm waiting. Mrs Bear poured milk into two glasses and they both drank milk and it was warm sliding down. Afterwards, Mrs Bear yawned. You must be ready now. Oh, she said. Oh. But Sam shook his head. I'm waiting, he said. Hmm, said Mrs Bear. Let me think. We've read a book and made a nest, arranged your friends and had warm milk, Sam, she said. What did I forget? You know, said Sam. Hmm, said Mrs Bear. Book, blanket, friends, milk. Book, blanket, friends, milk. Sam waited. He waited and waited. And then at last, Mrs Bear said, Oh, I know. Kiss goodnight, Sam. And she bent way down, kissing Sam once and twice and then twice more. Again! shouted Sam. And she bent way down, kissing Sam once and twice, and then twice more. Outside, the wind blew and the rain came down. In the little white house, Mrs Bear was turning out the light, whispering, Kiss goodnight, Sam. Kiss. Good night. And Sam went to sleep on a dark and stormy night on Plum Street. Bye boys and girls.